Well, class, today marks the opening of Fire Prevention Week. We're all for preventing fires, Miss Grundy, but do we have to wear these hats? Yeah, it's enough to get you hot under the collar. Get it? <laughs> hot under the... We got it, Reggie. And Sugar, you can have it back any old time. Quiet. Now, let's go over the rules of fire prevention. <coughs> Rule one. <coughs> all matches <coughs> must be kept away <coughs> from children. Uh, and Miss Grundy, there's a fire in your basket. Oh, put it out. Somebody hurry, put out the fire. Right away. There. Fire's out. I... I don't know uh, who did this, but I want to see Jughead right away. But, but, but I didn't do it, honestly. I didn't. Innocence is no excuse. Yes, Mr. Weatherby. Now, Fire Chief Clanger is coming to inspect the school, and I don't want any goof-ups. Yes, sir. No goof-ups. What do you call that? Oh, well, now, that's what I call hitting the old books. <laughs> One thing for sure, Weatherby's gone ape over fire prevention. You're telling me? He asked me to change my nail polish. Why's that, Betty? He said my red was too fiery. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Hey, amigos. Anybody want a leftover hamburger? No thanks, Carlos. But what about those red peppers? Boy, they look delicious. Don't they, Jughead? Mmm. Maybe I'll try one. Easy, Jug. These are the hottest peppers in the world, even in Riverdale. Right, right. I love spicy food. I tried to warn him. It looks more like the Mexican hot dance. <laughs> water, 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 agua, agua. Hey, come on, you son of a bitch. Come on, get some jughead, the drinking fountain. Oh, yes, Chick Clanger. The one thing I have in this school is <laughs> respect. Never mind me. Somebody get the license plate number. It really wasn't Jughead's fault. One of Carlos Peppers did him in. That's right. I couldn't help it. What do you think, Chief? Well, I think this boy's a major contributor to the water shortage. Now hear this, kids. I've scheduled a surprise fire drill, and it better be perfect. <laughs> gotcha, sir. We'll spread the word. Right, Jug? Uh, 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 right, Archie. <laughs> oh. I spent half the night writing that fire prevention essay. I spent the whole night on mine. Yeah, well, my essay blew into the fireplace and went up in smoke. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fire drill, everybody. Take it easy. Where do you think you're going? To a fire? <laughs> Very funny. We're supposed to leave the building right now. Ooh, how about it, Juggy? Shall we exit the building together? <laughs> uh, no thanks, Big Ethel. I feel a lot safer here inside. Please, Juggy. I've always dreamed of being in a fire drill with you. <laughs> I had the same dream, only I call it a nightmare. <laughs> Ooh, come back, Juggy. Ooh, stop being a fire drill pooper. <laughs> I know where you're going. You want to get me alone on the roof. Wrong. I want to throw myself off of the roof. 
Oh, you've got your now, Juggy. Come on down. Oh, let go, big asshole. Let go the ladder. Okay, Juggy. Anything you say. Oh, no. It's the sprinkler system. It isn't raining rain, you know. It's raining violins. Uh, or is it violets? Who could have set off the sprinklers? I'll give you two guesses. It starts with a J and ends with a D. Starts with a J, ends with a D. Got it! John D. Rockefeller. If Jughead did this, he's gonna need a good lawyer. Also a doctor when Weatherby finishes with him. Where is Mr. Weatherby? You'd think he'd be out by this time. Somebody called the Coast Guard. Oh my, who did this? Now don't tell me, don't tell me. Hey, submarine, I hope it's one of ours. He was hard to get, but I got him. So, it's you, the poster boy for stupidity. And now listen, Mr. Weatherby, I know what you're thinking. Oh, no, you don't. If you did, you wouldn't have come up. <laughs> now, that's what you call a brave principal. <laughs> he went down with his desk. <laughs> and this is it, Jughead. I'm stripping you of all your honors. Yes, sir. First, your high school letter. Now that's what I call a rip-off. <laughs> Next, your senior sweater. Your Riverdale sweatshirt. Your school sweatpants. Oh, <gasps> cover your eyes quick. Hey, these are mine. I paid for them myself. And here is your dishonorable discharge from Riverdale High. You mean... I am being expelled? Oh, oh no, no, poor no, Jughead! No, He's no, 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 no. unfair. Mr. Weatherby, please! Isn't there a way to keep Jug in school? We'll do anything! Hmm. Well, the fire chief's offering a prize for the best firefighting invention. And if we win, Jughead can stay. <laughs> Jughead, what are you doing? We haven't won yet. Uh, I know, but it can't hurt. <laughs> I sure hope Dilton will help us. Little old Dilton, he's sure to have some kind of invention to put out fires. Well, if he doesn't, Jughead here gets put out. Put out of school. <laughs> Get it? Yeah! It just proves that sometimes prayers get answered. Okay, buddy boy, get this straight. We don't want no more dropouts. You mean drop-ins. Oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Beat it, beat it, beat it. Man, it's awfully quiet. I wonder if Dilton is home. He's home. Dilton? Are you okay? Hope he hasn't gone to pieces. Aha, uh -huh, it works perfectly. My pilfer-proof lunchbox. Now, if I can just scrape the lunch off of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so, you see the problem, Dilton? We need a fire prevention invention. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, I shall see what I can do. That will take some deep thinking. Hey, take all the time you want, Dilton, just so we have it by tonight. Oh, now, what's the big deal about being expelled? Some of the brightest goofs in the world have never graduated. <laughs> uh, just a moment. I have an idea. Why? Yes? Perhaps Q can help us. Q? You, honey bunny, how you been? We missed you. Hold it, hold it. He isn't switched on yet. Oh, 
I'm listen. You've got to tell me. It's a matter of life and death. What is it, Q? How did the Dodgers do yesterday? I got two bucks riding on them. <laughs> oh, no. oh, now, quit your clowning, Q. I have got to come up with a new way to fight fires. Fires? That's easy. I've got the perfect solution. You have? Well, show it to us. Okay. Help! 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 Fire! 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 A walking fire alarm. I think that's a great idea. Help! Fire! Help! Fire! Help! Fire! Do something, Delton. He's out of control. The switch is jammed. I cannot turn him off. Help! Fire! Help! Fire! Help! Fire! He's not kidding! Somebody do something before the poor thing burns up! Well, I hate doing this. It is extremely unscientific. Help! Fire! Help! Fire! Nice going, Delton. You shorted him out! Well, it was the only humane thing to do. Whew. There's nothing smells worse than a robot with wet wiring. Don't look at me. I'm a burned out case. Look! Look out there! Somebody must have heard all the help fires and turned in the alarm! Help! Fire! Help! Fire! Just shut up, Q. Talk about trouble! What do we do now? Well, if it was me, I'd play dead. <laughs> a robot, eh? Well, just what do you think I am? Uh, you're a firefighter. I could tell by your hat. Oh, a wise guy, huh? Him? <laughs> Guess again. All right, what's going on here? I don't see any fire. A chief Klanger? He knows me from Weatherby's office. I gotta hide. Yeah, that's what they told me, Chief. Oh, no. I'm not falling for the old fire in the robot routine. What's that doing here? Anybody know about this? Strange looking baby. Wonder where he came from. Uh, they say that the stork brings them, but I'm not buying it. And I'm not buying it either. Wah! Tell me a story, Chiefy. <laughs> <laughs> a story, eh? Well, once upon a time, there was this little troublemaker from Riverdale High. Well, that's one way to get a rise out of him. <laughs> uh, pardon me, ma'am. Can I use your washroom? <laughs> I guess she's not used to kids. I'm used to kids, but this is too much. But you haven't heard our side of it. Don't let them con you about a fire in a robot. It's true, it's true. The rest of him's at the paint shop getting a spray job. Help, fire, help, fire, help, fire. You cool it, Q. Haven't you done enough? You're expelled, Jughead. You've made a mockery out of fire prevention. Two expulsions in the same day? Why, that's a new school record. Weatherby, I've got a solution. Uh, expel them all? No, have these kids spend the weekend in a firehouse. Hey, I that ain't a firehouse. 
I'll teach you that fire prevention is no joke. Well, well that's good thinking, Chief. That's, that's what I call fighting fire with fire. I wish he hadn't said that. Oh. Let's go, gang! Time to leave for the firehouse! We're all here except for the girls. Where the heck are they? Where's Betty and Veronica? Here we are! Sorry to be late! All ready for the firehouse, y'all! Those firehouse duds! Where did you get them? <laughs> Moochie's had a fire sale! The way to go, team! There's nothing like on-the-job fire training! Great way to spend a Saturday. Sure, if you like working in a car wash. Oh, I see. The troublemaker strikes again, eh? Now, hi, Chief. Nice day for a fire. Get to work and shine up the pole. You poor mongrel. Those spots just won't come out. Moose, what are you doing? He's supposed to have spots. It's a Dalmatian, dummy. A Dalmatian dummy. That's funny. He looks smart to me. <laughs> First, I'm expelled. And now this. What else can happen? Oh, there you are, Dougie. <coughs> <laughs> sure beats the staircase, doesn't it? How about a kiss? Ah, yeah, listen, asshole. I gotta dust out the fire truck. <laughs> fire! 1200 block on Maple! Come on, boys! Anybody seen Jughead? Oh no! I think he's still on the truck! You sure we can't turn back? It's too late now, kid. Just hang on. <laughs> you big sap! Look out! <laughs> Oh, no! Not again! Nice to see you again, ma'am. Could I use your phone? <coughs> what did I say? What did I say? No, no! Get me down! Get me down! Hey! No hitchhikers! Please, just let me off at the next stop! All right, where are they? What could have happened to the truck? Knowing Jughead, they probably stopped off for a sandwich. What took you so long? Help! 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 My, my steak's on fire. Oh, please, do something. Hey, oh, it's Missy Pedigree. Oh, what a coincidence. Oh, what a coincidence. Oh, personally, I prefer my steaks well done. Oh, don't just stand there. Get the ladder up. It's busted, thanks to him. Look out where you're... <laughs> <laughs> oh, hurry! Hurry! My meat is burning up! Oh! Throw down the steak, Weatherby, and the fire will be out! Tell him he can keep the french fries. I won't give up my steak. No, no, not at these prices. He's out of his head! Get the net! We could have told you that years ago. That's it, men. Go ahead and jump, Weatherby! We'll catch you! Are you kidding? I'll break my neck! Oh, no! No way! <laughs> He's panicked! He won't jump! He better or the smoke will get him! Wait! I got it! I know how to make him! Oh, yeah? yeah. Well, what would you do? How are we gonna do it? Ray, right there, sir! I will save you! You? Um, save me? 
Oh, no! Stay away from me! <laughs> no! Be right up, Mr. Weatherby! No, no! You're nothing but trouble! Jughead, don't you dare come up here! Uh, uh, <laughs> he should go out for the trampoline team! <laughs> oh. Uh, thank you, Chief. I, I owe my life to you and your men. Well, don't thank us. Thank Jughead. It's true. Jughead made you jump. He saved you. Oh, <clears throat> well, all right. I'll, I, I'll let him back in school. Now, now, where is he? Right up here, sir. And this steak of yours tastes terrific. <laughs> yeah, too bad you're out of ketchup. Jughead. Jughead, you come down here. You gotta hand it to Jug. He really plays for high stakes. <laughs> 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 <laughs>